Hello everyone, and welcome again to Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. My name is Tanias Vane, and we find ourselves in, well, it looks like a different instance of the Halls of Agony. It's a new recording session for me, so I, I was just kind of, yeah, it looks, a it looks a bit different. Anyway, so, um, this is going to be the last episode of Act 1 of Diablo 3. one way to put it, for that. But yeah. So, in this episode, I guess it is going to be the last episode, I know for certain. Um, because this is the last level of the Halls of Agony, at least as far as I know it is. Um, because usually whenever I've played, there's only been three levels. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, we are going to fight the boss, which I don't think is going to take too long. Um, but that said, I do want to make this the last episode no matter what. So it may be a bit longer. May not. I don't know. Oh, no. Do this. Break them all. That is one way to put it, Tyrion. Yeah, Tyrion. I keep on getting hit the names mixed up. Excuse me, there's a summoner over here that I don't like. That's what was wrong. I forgot to press my shout. It's like, why does this not feel right? Yeah. Get over here! That's a... Sound bite. <laughs> Nothing is as satisfying as realizing that I'm leveling up in every episode. Yeah, every episode. Uh, let me see. Alright, so we get a whirlwind, whirl, a whirlwind rune. To distant enemies towards you while whirlwinding. That's actually not bad. Um, I think I'm still going to do this. Wait, I also have the Agent Spear. With enemies hit or knock back. I think we're going to stick, stick with this. I really haven't found a use for the uh, Ancient Spear yet. Uh, nah. I'm still going to do this. So, okay. And then there's this, which all enemies hit are frozen. Uh, I'm going to stick with this just because it's a lot more damage. Since it's only a, a one player, one person playthrough. Yeah. There we go. Still actually, you know what? I might actually switch up the the heal on the Ren for that. For that, it pulls enemies towards me. There you go. That's what I like looking towards. Nope. Just shout at them. You know, every once in a while you just have to shout at them. So all of a sudden, rah! Now I'm almost positive. Oh wait, nope. None of that. Excuse you, did I say you could leave? I think he thinks he can leave too. Get over here. Oh, hey, look at the poor pad. Ta da! Oh, oops. Not what I meant to do. Alright, so. Okay, he went straight down. So it should just wrap around. Wrap around. Looks like I can do. Oh, wait, no, I can't go down here. This is a lot of people. That was a lot of people. I kind of have to agree with him there. Just all of a sudden... Some, for some reason, I, I... There is some pleasure in playing a game where all of a sudden, everything in your past just dies. That's right, go in the fire. Just go in the fire. Now, I'm not going to get him because my... Um, my earthquake is off cooldown. Which sucks. You know what? I'm okay with 
okay with it. I got like three treasure pygmies in uh, the past couple episodes, so I'm okay with that. No, just shout and get towards me. And I missed every single one of them with that. Oh, no, I got one. <laughs> into another one. Right, so I need to actually say the level design for this for these areas is actually pretty neat. Right, get over here. None of these Dark Hellions. No Dark Hellions. Oh no, the fire hurts so bad. Get over here. Oh, there's one over there. Shot at him. You know. Like we ain't got no thing. Ain't no thing. Just shout at him. Just shout at him. You get over here. Stun you for days. There was something that ran over here. Either that or just flew over there when it died. I don't know which. I don't know which. Maybe that. This. Ooh. Nope. Nope. Can't let this happen. Nope. Can't let this happen. Nope. It's gonna happen. Nope. Nope. Can't do anything about it. Uh, I hate these guys. There's actually a boss fight later on which, which basically incorporates the these guys just all of a sudden. It is the most annoying thing because you can't do anything about it. That, because it's a basically a sadistic hamster wheel. Excuse you. Shout at him. Sometimes it's nice just to shout at things. See, notice how I'm just, like, healing off of every single thing I do. Just everything. Well, that was almost a waste of time. <laughs> just all of a sudden, I, I looked the map. Just a giant square. I'm okay with giant squares, though. Alright. Move speed and pick up radius. See, the, the shrines, I'm kind of, like between which ones are really useful and which ones aren't because like this is really useful like move speed is crucial for somebody that's moving around a lot but if you can see I'm just like in the same place every time and then I just start I get one of those and then all of a sudden it's actually really helpful oh I'll see it's it's really helpful none of this I didn't actually say that trap there, but I'm happy I, I got it. Yay! Break all of the things! Alright. <laughs> you saw that, right? They were just like walking right into the trap. I like that. You know, it saves me the trouble of doing it. Alright, so, so so far I wanted to mention that, you, you probably already noticed, I haven't really been speaking about a, a lot of anything, oh no, no thank you, um, anything really, you know, specifically significant, at least currently. Oh, Mr. Dark Hellion. I noticed that Blizzard uses a lot of, like, they, they use the same name for a lot of different things across their universes. Like, there is a Hellion, the, uh, there are Hellions in the StarCraft universe, a few other things. Yeah. I need more bodies. You think my summoners can just conjure up a demon whenever it pleases them? They must have blood. Fresh blood, mind you. And human flesh to bolster our magic. I will be expecting a reply from you shortly. All right, so burn everything, burn everything. Oh hey, look at that! No, activate the activate the switch. I don't know why that didn't kill anything. Get over here. Uh oh, uh oh, I am in a bad way. I'm in a bad way because I'm standing right in the middle of a of an orbit. 
And poison! <laughs> Orbiter, poison, enchanted. Get over here. Shout just to get myself a beautiful. Oh wait, I think I just got a pass. Did I? I think I already have that passive unlocked. I think I was unlocked at level 24. Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm doing no damage and they're just like lining up. Like, they're just staring at me. Stop staring at me. Where, where's Corp? Oh, there's Corp. And now it starts to get real. Look at, look, look at that. I'm pretty sure that is the way I need to go to the right up there. And uh, I'm just gonna walk around, leave these corpses around. Before I start killing anything. That was not very nice. Glad I took care of that. No, and then oh, missed it Not that much. But yeah, these guys are really aren't that tough to aren't that hard to deal with. Um, except when they start, you know, getting in my way. So just walk over here, get more of them to spawn. This is fun. I'm actually really happy that they're just, like, crumbling. Is that too sadistic of me? That might be a little bit too sadistic of me. Alright, so... Uh, I am going to be fighting the... A little bit about the boss of this area. I mean, you, if you play Diablo 3 or you know anything about uh, Blizzard... Or play, uh... Or rather, if you play Heroes of the Storm... You already know who the... You, you probably already know who this boss is. And if you don't, he's a very familiar face. He should just be down this hallway. Yeah, he's just down this hallway. I know I, I know how the, the look of this place. Yeah, stairs right over there. This place always looks the same. Oh, wait. Before we go... I'm gonna make sure that I have my skills set. Alright, so I am gonna go for... Um, go for this one. I'm gonna keep the each uh, point of fury spent as health. Uh, deal additional damage to him. I don't know if I want to... I might even go for this. Let's just... Devil's Anvil, each hit creates a tremor at the point of impact that slows enemies. Smash for additional damage, create a shockwave from the point of impact. Seismic Slam, increase the damage and knocks enemies up in the air, reduce the fury cost. I'm not actually, it's not actually really helpful because it basically makes it cost 20 fury. Uh, Sanctuary Tornadoes falling in your wake, damaging enemies with the cross. No. Should have knocked back. I think I'm just going to stick with Rend. Just because, again, it gives me extra life. I don't think that's really helpful, so I'm going to go for this one. Breaks all uh, crowd control effects. A increase critical chance. Do I want... Uh, let's just... Yeah, I'll go for that one. I think, mm, for the most part, it's actually pretty okay. I might go for Call of the Ancients just to increase DPS. Uh, but this does a lot more damage. This basically just does... I'm able to use that more. So. Only thing I really switched was A and X. Mia must be back in Tristan crying over the old man's core. You'll soon have another to cry over. Yours. Meet the butcher. Alright, so say hello to the butcher. Do that, do that. 
Yep. Um, fun fact about this boss fight. Basically, the ground starts erupting. He does that. Yeah, he also speaks. Whoops! Yeah, he really isn't that hard. I mean, my damage to him is very minuscule. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, it's because I haven't... Okay. I love how he just knocks me out of the way. It gives me enough chance to just... You know. Not really do anything. Just get right out of the way. Now, remember that all the... Uh, every time I bash him, every time I do an auto attack, that increases my ability damage. At least I believe that's what I expected for. Ooh. Then he just like stuns himself. It's not really that hard of a boss battle. I mean, I guess the rend is actually a lot better because it does... It does cause me to do a little bit more damage at a time. Excuse you. But, uh, he's a lot like Stitches from Heroes of the Storm. And there are quite a few people who actually agree with me. And when he was, when he was uh, uh, teased to be released in Heroes of the Storm, he was, at, like, a lot of people were like, but he's Stitches. <laughs> at least it seemed that way to me. Like, and, and if any of you have played Heroes, you understand. Also, there are like four different healing wells around the uh, around this area, so I'm just like, uh, but I don't need them. Like even I can just stand in this fire. But again, I'm only on expert just to kind of keep the story going. But even even so, like look how hard this boss, uh, look how long this boss battle is going. I'm even standing in the fire. Okay, standing out of the fire. And every time I use Rend, I heal. Every time I use uh, any bit of Fury, I heal. Uh, I'm gonna wait for him to charge again before I use my Earthquake. But it shouldn't be that. Yep, there it is. And then I just Earthquake. Yep. This is a very simple boss fight. Uh, also, know that, uh, remember that my, um, shout actually, co uh, uh, it costs Fury to use. So, I can heal off of that as well. So, shouting is actually a, you know, yeah. I seriously don't know who said that, and I don't know why, I don't know why the Butcher would say, hold, uh, hold it. I don't even remember what it was anymore. And then he just starts repeating himself over and over. A fun fact about the Butcher, he is not the only one of his kind. Apparently there are a, um, there's basically a whole legion of the Butcher. Of, of Butchers. Like, it's weird to think about that there's more than one of this guy. And then we just walk out of the way, you know, like a getting out of the way of the bus. Oh, that card control is big. Yeah, so, like I said, not a hard boss fight. And I reached level 30. Okay, so I am going to I'm going to look over my weapons and stuff later on. I am going to identify this. Ooh. Chimani, armor commemorating the chief 
Chieftain Gauld's victory over the wild men of, uh, from the east. Okay. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I mean, I lose uh, life after kill, but I get more life per second. Eh. Eh. Eh, the color's off. I don't like the color. <laughs> but that's that probably just me. Ugh. I don't like that color. I don't like that color with everything else I have on. Oh. 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 I don't like it. I don't like it at all. But the good thing in the next act, we get we meet a guy who actually sells uh, dyes. And this is a thing. But don't worry. Hold on a second. I want to change this back to cleave. Oh, by the way, uh, Wrath of the Berserk basically increases my damage output. Fury Incarnate for 20 seconds. Basically, massively increasing my damage output for a ton. Uh, that stayed the same, and this one. I also unlocked another Fury slot. Um, Thorn's damage is actually okay. Uh, the, this basically means that um, that's actually not bad. Reduce all non-physical damage by 20%. When you take damage from a ranged elemental or elemental attack, you have a chance to gain two fury. For some reason, it feels like they changed this this um, this talent. Like it was originally, maybe it's another talent, uh, another passive talent, but basically, it decreases the damage of all non-physical attacks as well. At least that's what I thought. Because I, I seem to remember that being a thing. Yeah, it's probably just me. Yeah, but that's actually a pretty good talent considering non-physical damage by 20% and then chance to gain two fury. I'm actually going to keep that on, just for now. Yep, just going to walk right by these guys. Go right over here, pull them in, and do this. Like, look at that! Now he's, um, sitting in a pile of magma. He instantly gets stabbed by the sword and I remember now. I was an archangel of the high heaven. I was the embodiment of justice. I was. I am Tyrael. Yeah. You have restored my mind, friend. And now I remember the warning I came to deliver. Belial and Asmodeus, the last lords of hell. You look at that gallant stride. I actually found Word's Bell. Word no longer has his bell or his leg, then perhaps Squirt has it. I actually don't know who Squirt is, so. Alright, so I am actually gonna go through to Act 2. I'm not gonna be showing any of the uh, any of the cutscenes. Um only because you can you can honestly look them up anywhere. Uh, on YouTube you can you can see all of them, um, but also because, well, nah, yeah, I'm not, I'm, yeah, I think I'm just going to keep it to the gameplay in this one. Time grows short, my friend. Even now, Belial's influence is spreading through Helgeen. How will we find him? We won't have to. Magdimes are coming to lead us straight to him. You know how they led us right to you? Yes. Yeah. Uh, 
I actually find it kind of funny. You know, they actually do pay in blood. I, I actually kill them. I mean, you kind of expected that. You kind of expect it. I mean, <laughs> spoiler alert, but... Alright, let's head to Act 2. All right, we're in the hidden camp now. Um, yeah, actually, I need to say the uh, the uh, cutscene in between this act and the and Act One and Act Two, one of the coolest, uh, probably one of the coolest cutscenes. Now, I don't. For some reason, it doesn't play the cutscenes for me now. Like whenever I I progress through an act, um, I'm not entirely sure why. Hold on a second. She does have words, Bell. What the? <laughs> what? What? I just... What? I'm gonna get it, but like... <laughs> I actually was not expecting... Like, her name is Squirt. I didn't realize that before. That is hilarious! Alright, so before I progress any further in the story, I am actually going to end this episode here. Um, now, since this is the last uh, Diablo episode of the week, I'm actually going to be... Uh, uh, over the weekend, I'm going to be deliberating if I'm going to be doing another... If I'm going to stop the... the let's kind of go on a small hiatus of, of this game. Um, now, again, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Do you want to see... Do you want me to keep on uh, working with the, uh, the Diablo series? Well, this Diablo series. Or would you like me to try another game? I've asked this in, in the past few videos I've made. Um, just to be sure, you know. I, I just want to hear what you guys think. I'm still I, I'm still loving playing this game. Um, I just want to hear what you guys think. Um, yeah. So, with that, I'm going to... And now if I can only speak to do an outro. <laughs> well, then. Alright, so... I'm going to end this episode here. Um, leave a like if you like the episode or dislike, depending on your preference. And yeah, my name is Janice Bain, signing out. Thanks again, guys, for watching. See you in the next episode.